2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi, everybody. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill, Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Jalen Green is out there with Josh Christopher. And it's Martin in at the three, the small forward. And for the Warriors, Poole and Thompson man the backcourt. Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. And it's Looney in at center. Well, Clark, as the season marches on, some teams have really distinguished themselves. How hard is it to hold on to top rankings with so much season remaining? Well, we know it's not easy, B. It's much easier to chase the top than to stay on the top. So it takes a lot of focus, a lot of determination, a lot of togetherness to continue to stay at the top. But those top teams typically find a way to make it happen. Now here's Martin. Pass to Green. Here's Christopher. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. But that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Here's Martin. Smith outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Green, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. It was a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. Their approach was to draw fouls in that game. It put their opponent in a very difficult position. And as a result, there was a blowout win. Credit them for initiating contact and forcing the officials to make the calls. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Good on the shot. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Boy, you look at Jalen Green. All the tools to be a star. It may take some time. Now, growing up, he was always the most talented. But he is a gym rat and a worker, a grinder. So I bet on him to reach his full potential soon. And that one's good. Cool. Boy, Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick, showing off his passing skills there. Martin outside. Back to Green. Pass to Shangun. Here's Christopher. Now Green, guarded by Poole. And he's going for the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Thompson with it. Green picks him up. Thompson passes to Wiggins. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes two gone by. Foul. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. Shooting two. That free throw misses. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. And he sinks the second. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins, trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Two minutes Pool against Green. Two minutes. Over Poole. It's wide right, hits off the rim. 
Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in, inside. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Great read that time by Wiggins, anticipating the shot. Sends it out with return to sender posted. DiVincenzo against Washington. Tries again. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. He almost blocked that shot in time, just a nanosecond late. Jerome's checked in for the Warriors. Garuba's checked in for Houston. Tate comes in for Smith. The Rockets trail. No doubt about it, the Rockets are in a rebuilding mode. I mean, I know it's a phrase we often use, but Houston really has stripped themselves down to the studs. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That'll put Jay Sean Tate to the line. That's on Gary Payton second. Well, Clark, one sign that Houston is building for the future has to be all of their young talent. Yeah, I agree with you, B.A. They're planning for the road ahead. Lots of gifted players on the way up who could develop into a tight-knit squad over the coming seasons. Will be fun to watch what goes on in Houston. Falls for Tate. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Cold State Warriors are back. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Payton. Here's Jerome. Four on the clock. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D score in the NBA, picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Washington outside. Pass to Christopher. Now Tate. He's watched by Kuminga. Outside Tate. Oh, stolen by Peyton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. That one on Tate. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, the make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. 19 seconds left to play in the first. And here's Washington. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That's good from Tate on the assist by Washington. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. One second left. Released it in time, but it's off the mark. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. The Warriors on top, leading by three. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Fans, give it up for 
your Warriors. Yeah, close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Green and Looney together inside. Poole and Thompson man the backcourt, and it's Lamb in at the small forward position. That's the Warriors five. Poole outside. The three. That one doesn't drop. And Houston the other way now. Last game matched up with the Thunder. Tough loss there. It's a fine line between playing with urgency and being out of control. <laughs> and they crossed that line. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, they seem to be forcing things out there, trying too hard, pressing. When you do that, the turnovers pile up quickly. Now here's Green. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Find the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Now here's Washington. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Shangoon. Crops in the layup for two. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thompson over Washington, and it's good. Off the back rim and in. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Fires from deep. Counted from distance. Nice fluid motion off the catch there. Wiggins becoming a dangerous jump shooter. They've been having timeout, major timeout. problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Timeout called. Houston. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. Two minutes in. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Shangun. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul.
No good on the free throw. Kaminga, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Second free throw is good. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thompson. Poole outside. One thirty-six left to play in the first half. Five on the clock. Back to Thompson. Here's Wiggins. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Out to the right wing. From downtown. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. Pass to Poole. Thompson outside. Kaminga with it. Covered by Smith. Wiggins outside. Clock at four. And here's Thompson for three. Here's Looney. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Looney's got his first points in this one. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Pass to Christopher. finish on the layup. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Thompson outside. Wiggins for three. Sinks it from distance. Wiggins has got six in the quarter. I'll tell you what, how easy does Wiggins make the game look? I mean, in the flow, excellent stroke from distance. Mm, that's fun to watch. And it's Green missing. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. And so it's the Golden State Warriors ending the quarter up 10. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we just got after it. You know, it's the main thing. You know, we just try to make them uncomfortable. Test everything. And, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. An excellent second quarter from these guys, and they lead by 10 at the half. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They're running the offense beautifully this one. Working for good looks. Their confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow at this point. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Houston? Well, it's never fun. You're playing against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. How about Andrew Wiggins? Man, is he playing well. Yeah, even with the extra attention he's getting from the defenders, he's finding ways to excel. Well, we're not surprised by that. No more than what we've come to expect of him. He can adapt and adjust to anything a defense tries to throw at him. 
Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. So the Houston Five right now. Smith plays the four with Chingun at center. Josh Christopher is out there with Green. And it's Martin in at the three. And they recover it. Poole outside. Pass to Wiggins. Beyond the arc. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Chingun's got four rebounds now. To the inside. And the shot goes down. Christopher's got his second bucket. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. And the shot's good by Wiggins. We highlight Thompson scoring often. But right there, just a great read to get it to the open teammate. Cool against Green. Pass to Christopher. Smith outside. Now Green. Here he goes. Yep, count it. They just look so overwhelmed inside. But that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. You're trying to close that gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage looks right inside. And the Warriors with possession here. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Pass to Poole. Fires the three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land. Giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Back to Green. It's Christopher on the wing. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Kevon Looney picks one up. Well, Grant, this is the business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think as people's viewing habits have changed in the last Shoot 10 two. to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. And the Warriors will go with a different look here. Green's checked in for Looney. Peyton comes in for Andrew Wiggins. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Jerome subbed in for Poole. He hits the second from the line. Golden State has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Pass to Jerome. Back to DiVincenzo. The three ball. And the Warriors with another three. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. Christopher misses. Golden State has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Outside Peyton. Outside Green. Shot clock at six. Here's Jerome. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Washington outside. Oh, the teardrop falls in. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. Golden State has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Outside, Peyton. Outside, DiVincenzo. Garuba with a rebound. The Rockets have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Christopher. DiVincenzo covering. Washington inside. 
Back to Christopher. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Houston gets it back. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Pass to Jerome. From the arc. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. Playing some great basketball. Holding a healthy advantage. Back to the game after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Thompson, the two, with Wiggins at the three. Kevon Looney is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Poole in at the one. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Green. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Poole. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Warriors lead by 14. From the assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Here's Green. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Smith outside. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. And there it is for him. That time the defense all up in Green's business, but he can get physical just like they can. Thompson outside. Back to Poole. Wiggins outside. And it's going to be a three-second call. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Houston making some changes. Shangun comes in for Kaminsky. And it's Christopher in for Washington. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. To the paint. Thompson with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Here's Kaminga. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Now, here's Green. Six to shoot. Free throw line jumper. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got six rebounds now in the game. Golden State has gone six of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Rockets foul. Jabari Smith. And the Warriors making a change here. Green is checked in. And a change for the Rockets. Harden's checked in. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Thompson outside. Pool from long range. Rebound goes to the Rockets. Outside, Green. He can't get it to go. Thompson with some nice D. Poole outside. Launches a three. Thompson, no good. The Rockets have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. It's Martin on the wing, pounded by Wiggins. Here's Green. 
Green with the defensive effort. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Looney. It's Wiggins on the wing. Oh, swiped away. A pretty comfortable win for them in this one. Great effort. Pays off for the Warriors. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And you look at their record after tonight, 30 wins on the year. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Andrew Wiggins. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. And the Rockets with possession here. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Here's Baldwin. Pass to Green. Clock at six. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. At the line to two. He's off on the first. Good on the second one. Here's Knicks. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Come see us again soon. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.